from Scandinavia today. I am going to make the sweetest cake called princess cake. And let's get going. I'm going to use eight eggs. I'm going to whip the egg whites stiff. I have three ounces of melted butter. I have one cup of sugar. I have two and a half cup of flour. I'm using half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm adding the baking powder to the flour and also the half a teaspoon of salt and I mix it in. And now I'm going to whip the egg whites. So here I'm separating the last egg yolk from the egg white and uh, I put all the egg yolks in one bowl and the egg whites are in here and I'm going to whip them now. So here we go. I'm gradually adding the sugar and make sure it gets really stiff. So now I'm beating the egg yolks and I want them to be pale yellow. So I keep whipping until they're pale yellow. So I whip the egg yolks and I'm going to take half of the whipped egg whites and sugar fold in there first okay mix it in like this add the rest of it and afterwards I'm adding the flour and I'm going to bake it in three small pans three round cake pans, okay, in the oven at a degree of 350. So I'm folding in the flour and the very last step is to add the melted butter. Okay, here it comes. And mix that in as well. And then I can pour it into my baking pans. Here I have one and I, of course I'm pouring into three different pans. So the three forms are in the oven now and I'm baking it for at least 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. Okay, the cake has been baked and I'm going to let them cool down. We also need custard for the cake and please go to my video where I show you how to make the, the custard. And also we need some raspberry jam. I have a jar of jam here, however, I made my own raspberry filling. I cooked uh, 12 ounces of raspberries with a tablespoon of sugar, and I add a little bit of water, and then I thicken it with cornstarch mixed up in water. So this is nice, really nice filling. And then I have two cups of whipped cream, and uh, I'm going to add a third of that to my custard here. So, and then the, the two thirds I'm going to use for topping. Okay. And you will want to cover the cake with marzipan. I have about 10 ounces of, my, of uh, almond paste or marzipan and I'm mixing it with one and a half cup of powdered sugar. I'm just mixing it by hand. So it's up to you if you want to use the, you know, what proportions you like to use. Well, traditionally the almond paste or the marzipan uh, for this cake is green. So I have to add a little, a drop of green coloring and mix it in. So just work at that. Don't make it too dark, okay? And uh, traditionally, you know, and actually, I forgot to tell you, I also have a video that shows you how to make almond paste or marzipan. So please check that out, or of course you can also buy the marzipan. So here we have the colored marzipan, the green marzipan. I'm going to roll it out. So it's time to put the cake together and I am first adding uh, a bunch of uh, quite a bit on my raspberry and of course you don't want it to run over the edge okay you need to keep it clean around the edge 
So here we have a lot of raspberries, jam on there. And then the next step is to add custard. Okay. And on top of that, second layer of cake. All right. I am also adding some more whipped cream on top here. Okay. And now we add the last layer on top again. And then finally, I have to add some whipped cream. And you want the center of the cake be taller than the rest of the cake. So you want to pile, you know, the whipped cream up in a little top. And then finally, I'm going to add the last step, which is the marzipan on top of all of this. Okay, so now I am rolling out the marzipan. And of course, it has to be big enough to cover the whole cake. So I'll work on that for a little while. Well, I rolled out the marzipan between two layers of saran wrap. It makes it easier. And now I'm decorating the cake with the marzipan. So here we have the finished cake. Uh, I already took a slice. And traditionally, the cake is served with a pink rose on top. However, I decided to use fresh raspberries, which I have in my garden right now. And instead, I have real pink roses on the side. So I hope they'll make up for it a little bit. Anyway, the cake will taste pretty much the same without the pink rose on top. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. The marzipan is wonderful. It, give it gives it just such a really nice touch. And of course, the whipped cream and the custard and the raspberries, everything just is good together. I hope you will also enjoy it. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.